TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here for this tutorial on table tabs. In other words, we're going to take a look at some of the tabs and what they do when working on tables. In our previous tutorial, we talked about using contextual tabs, meaning certain things will appear only in when you start using them or needing them. For example, if we decide we want to start working on this table and we click inside the table or anywhere on the table, what you're going to see is up above we have these two new tabs because we're about to work within a table. When I click on the design tab, I have a lot of different options here. Now, some things over here on the left, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this area, but I just want to point out that this is more the type of thing, once you've created a table, go in and take a look at this, put your pointer over them, and a little yellow pop-up will tell you what these do. In this particular case, I'm not going to focus on this that much. I'm going to suggest that when you get in here and you've created a table, you go in and check things on and off and see how it impacts the table. But having stated that, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this area. What I do want to spend time on is over here what are called table styles. When I put my pointer over these items, it gives us a preview of what the table will look like if we use some of these styles. Now what's going to happen at this point is the table is going to get blocked. So I'm going to try to take it down the page a bit, like that, that's about good. But now I'm going to go back into the table by clicking in it, brings back our tabs, and let's go to the design tab again. I'm going to click on the drop down and I want you to observe that these are all kinds of table styles. So what I want you to see here is that you can add shading, you can merge cells, you can add all kinds of different looks and characteristics to a table. And you can do this by hand or you can use one of these tools to have it impact the table. I can scroll down and even see more. There's tons of them in here. So before you get too far ahead of yourself and do too, too much work within the table, well, go in and mess around with some of these and just see how these look for you. You can even create your, a new table style. I'm not even going to go there because, frankly, with all these things, if, if you can't find one, I wouldn't waste your time elsewhere. So in the Design tab, by going to this area, you can start working within a table and making it look pretty darn good pretty quickly. Also, you can handle a table by adding shading and change the way the borders look, some of the lines around the borders, you can draw a table here, you can use the eraser. I've used the eraser and I find it awkward at best. So what I want to show you here in this particular tab is there are a lot of things you can do with it to make the table look better. Let's go back and click inside the table. Again, I'm, I clicked out of the table and my tab went away. I'm going to click on the layout tab. Here, you have the ability to do a lot of different things here. Some of the first three won't make a lot of sense to you until you start using this in greater detail. And I'm going to explore this a little bit more, but at a later point in time. So you can insert rows above, columns, you can merge cells, split cells, split the table, auto fit, adjust the heights. You can distribute rows and columns evenly. That won't make sense until we take some things and we make them bigger or smaller. Text direction is right here. The alignment in the cells, cell margins, you can sort things in your table tons of things you can do that we'll get into little by little when we work within a table. But I just at this point wanted to show you the two table tabs and show you that things are available to you here if you get sort of stuck. Again, the key here is just remember if you don't see the tabs and you're like, I know I saw it, click somewhere in the table to bring the tabs up. That's all you got to do. My name is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you so very much. Have a great day.